Welcome to the Boom Room, a platform where the action takes place. Real life interviews from local celebrities, comedy, relationships, sports, business, and hip hop. Hosted by Adrian Success Gully. The Boom Room is so explosive. That is the rudest I've ever seen in my life. The Boom Room. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? How is everybody doing out there? This is your boy, Agent Success Gully, right here in the Boom Room. You know who I be, Mr. Pooper Man, Mr. Crappy Man, all day, every day. Stop playing with me. You should, you know who I am. Facebook, YouTube, social media, all that. You know, you, you already know, man. Mr. Pooper Man, Mr. Crappy Man, all day. Agent Success Gully, right here in the Boom Room once again, ladies and gentlemen. And let me tell y'all something. Got an exciting show tonight, man. Got my boy. Stone in the house tonight, man. What's up, Stone? What's hey, up, Stone? Give it up for Stone. <laughs> what's going down, man? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Hey, I'm so happy to see you, man. Most definitely. Oh, yeah. It's always, you it's you always good to see you, man. Yeah, yeah. Most <laughs> definitely. Hey, man. Hey, check this out. You got to tell everybody where you from mm -hmm. because I'm going to start this off right. Where are you from, man? Oh, man. If y'all look right here, I'm from Garland, Texas, <laughs> man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm from East Garland. East Garland, Texas, born and raised, you know, South Garland, Texas as well. Oh, okay. All around, you know, I'm, I've been all around Garland, so I just rep Garland as a whole. Go, you know go what I'm high, junior high, I mean, elementary, junior high, high school. I'm talking about since birth. Oh. <laughs> since, since I came in in 85. Oh, <laughs> he told his age. I didn't ask that, man. I didn't hey, ask that question. He told I'm his still, age. I'm still he's young. Still young. He's still still young in the game. I'm on the young side of 35. <laughs> I so fly like season. It. Let's 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 talk about fly season. Mm -hmm. So, fly season is something that you created. And when did it start? When how did you get, come up with this? So, fly season started in 2014. You know, the idea for it came back in like probably 2010. You know, I just I knew, I, I knew it was gonna be something fly. You know, fly was gonna be in there regardless. Right, right, right. But you know, the, the fly season. It, it, I started saying that or probably around 2010, 2011. I never said it in a song, but I was just saying it in a conversation. And then uh, 2014, it came to life. You know, I had a show opening up for Devin the Dude. Okay. And usually, for every show, you got to stand out in some kind of way. Right, right, so right. So I decided, I was like, you know, besides the music, mm -hmm. I wanted to stand out fashion-wise. I was like, I got to have some of the shoes, tea. You know, I, I used to go shop before every show. <laughs> You know, I'd be sitting there thinking like the first day of school every time, like, man, I got to come out hard. You got to come you out know, hard. all the way. Yeah. So I decided then, I was like, well, I'm going to try to do, I always going to do something different than the normal person. So I came up with the logo, you okay. know what I'm saying, probably like two weeks before the show. Okay. And I was at work, you know what I'm saying? I drew it on the back of a receipt during the dead time at work. And then uh, I looked at it, I was, you know, I drew the plane. And, okay. you know, it was real rough. You know, I did it with an ink pen too. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm looking at it. I was like, all right, then let me make it. Let me digitize it. Let me make it for real. And I came up with it on my phone, and I said I posted it on Facebook just to see what everybody thought. And you know, I went back to work. You know, what I'm saying worked the rest of my five right. hours, and then got to the house, checked my notifications, and I seen a bunch of people asking about it, like you know, saying it was dope. And oh, okay. And I was okay, so. That kind of boosted me up a little bit. I was like, all right, well, I'm definitely going to make the shirt. I okay. got to make the shirt now. <laughs> and then I made a, a throwback Mavericks color one because I had just had a hat. I had a, just got a, a Mavericks hat with a black brim, and it was the blue, you know, the throwback Mavericks. Oh, yeah, blue, throwback. The green, yeah, yeah the blue. blue, green, and white. Yeah. So I had that. I just had got that hat. I was like, you know, I'm going to match that. And I reached out to uh, my dude, Ernie. You know what I'm saying? He was the first person to make a fly season tee for me. Okay. He made okay. that and, some, and a couple other ones for me. And I wore that one on stage, opened up for Devin the Dude, and from there, you know what I'm saying, people were congratulating me about the, about the show I put on. Yeah. And people was asking me about the shirt. Okay. Like, left and right, you know what I'm saying, about right. the shirt. And right. I didn't have nothing to give them. Damn. So, <laughs> I was like, well, you know, I just, I, was, I just made this, really. I was like, hey, you know, if you want one, I can get it to you. But, right. you know, just tell me what color you want. And I right. was just, and it just started from there. It just started, it was a snowball effect. Oh, okay. So from 2014, the birth of it happened right there on stage at the uh, trees in Deep Ellum. Dang. In downtown Dallas. So Wow. So let's let's <laughs> take it so basically it started because you had you had a rap career. You was yeah. you was you was you was had some rhymes. You was yeah. so that started first. <laughs> yeah. Before that, that was, the fly season. Yeah, you know, and it really I'd say even take it a step 
a further step back. You know, it's a lifestyle. You know, what I'm saying like, I, like before, I didn't call it. I called it fly season eventually, but that's how I always looked at it. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like trying to stand out and be fly. You know Something what I'm saying? Different. Yeah, I grew up. You know, listening to, uh, like what I call baller rap. You know what I'm saying? Like. Chameleon and Paul Wall, you know, they used to right. always talk about that fly stuff and yeah. the switch house rhymes. And I listened to that all through <laughs> high school. We was freestyling like that. And me and my partner Mick, you know, we eventually started G Squad. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And that was our thing. It was like, we're going to make fly rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, G Squad was the, the group you, yeah, you started. You and. Me and Big Mick. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So we started that in 2004. But like I say, I graduated high school in 2003. Okay. I was always trying to be fly and always trying to stand out. So I always had that mind state. It was always been a lifestyle, but, but again, I just didn't put a name to it. I've always had that in me. So you gotta go back there. And then when the rap came, it just, you know, we stood out trying to, we used to make, uh, we used to make airbrush tees through my cousin Bryce, you know what I'm saying? He used right. to, uh, we used to send him all type of ideas for any show or any little photo shoot we had or anything, just regular life. We'll have him make make us custom stuff and okay. I'm I'm putting ideas together then. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Dang. And then and Mick doing the same thing. And uh, my homegirl, Lena, the lovely Lena, she had to, uh, she used to paint us shirts like she can draw everything freehand, so she she can do whatever. And I was like, and we put her to the test. Too. <laughs> we was like, all right, we need this. I was like, I want a whole spaceship on my shirt. You know what I'm saying? Uh, saying I'm a, uh, I got a Star Trek fit <laughs> going beat me up. I was like, you think you can put that together with these colors and sure right, make it right. happen? But I'm like, you know, I'm a, you can say I was executive producing it in a way. You know, what I'm saying Dang, like, I'm like, like yeah. I'm like telling her what to do, and you know, she making it come to life. So it went from stuff like that to. Me, you know what I'm saying, eventually just making my own stuff. Oh, okay. And like buying stuff at boutiques, different stuff, different brands. I'm just trying people out. Okay. You know, if it looked fly to me, I was going to wear it and try to make it look good. Oh, okay. Like, that's just always been my thing. Try to, like, I really feel like if I put on a Taco Bell shirt, mm -hmm. you know, so I can make that a thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, Taco always, Bell fly season. I have everybody looking like they work at Taco Bell <laughs> because Stone was wearing it. Right, right, so, right. So, that's the thing. So, I always wanted to do stuff like that. So when I was making fly season, that's how I was thinking. I was like, man, what you know? I want this to be able to look the same way uh, you could put a Nike check on anything, right? Right. And they look good. I want. I was like, I got to come up with something. And luckily for me, the first thing I put together was the first and only. I didn't have to do any other uh, renditions, renditions or nothing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So so you you from from and that started basically say like you said in high school. Then you took this to. College. Mm -hmm. that, how, how did that, uh, when you went to college, how did that, how did it, what, what college did you go to? Uh, so I went to two colleges. I ended up graduating at UNT. Okay, or UNT. University of North Texas. Okay, okay. So All right, give it up for UNT, <laughs> UNT. What's happening? Yeah, What's yeah. happening? Got that young bachelor's degree <laughs> in 08, you know what I'm saying? You got to throw that up too. <laughs> but, and I went there my last two years of college, but I first went to uh, Houston. I went to Houston? U of H. Okay, U of H. U of H Cougars, you know. Okay. So I started out there just being out there in Houston, man, I, you know, that's my second home now. Right, but right, right. I, got, I learned a lot being out there in Houston. I think I learned my grind stepped up, my ambition, everything stepped up just being out there in Houston. Like, when they say it's hustle town, right. that's, that's for real. Oh, like, you ain't got to sell drugs. Like, I ain't never sold drugs. <laughs> I was in college. Right, you know, and you but, was, but you were still, when you still doing the fly season, doing the time, or you were uh, just uh, still working on it, or what, what was you? Uh, oh, man, in college, I was just... <laughs> I was just out there. <laughs> I was, you know, I was out there trying to be on my fly stuff. Like, right, right. You know, like I used to have. I, since I went to U of H, mm -hmm. I had a, a throwback Olajuwon U of H jersey. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that was dope. I bought that for my partner up there. You know, we, we was wearing jerseys at that time. I used to try to stand out wearing two polos. Like, I might have like a, if I had on some white, white, black, and red shoes, I might. Wear a black polo, but have a red one under on underneath it, and oh. have the red collar out there. Always <laughs> you know been fly. Always With been the fly. matching coat, <laughs> uh, middle of the mall chain. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the time. <laughs> but you know, we trying to stand out. And, you know, we, I mean, I we was broke pretty much, but we made it work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was the best times when we was, you know, when we was all broke. Right. <laughs> we was, we was more creative and we just made it made it happen. We had a lot of fun. Oh, okay. So yeah, being in being in Houston, being at U of H. That was a, you know, a, a lot of people around me end up succeeding 
in life or in their own endeavors, uh, especially with music and stuff right. like that. So, oh, okay. Like, shout out to my partner, Les. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He, he made it, you know what I'm saying, doing him. Oh, you know yeah. What I'm That's cool. That's <laughs> cool. Same way he rapped now. He was rapping like that. Oh, then. really? Shout out to uh, Candlestick. Okay. You know, he was a DJ. He was DJing parties there. Now he a part of Chop Stars. You know, Dang. some OG Ron C. You know, so that's just two people I could think of off top. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? My partner, Rich, everybody. Like, we... Everybody doing their thing. Oh, okay. So that's why I left Houston with. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get on this rap stuff real tough. You know, so right. I've been with Ten Floor Heavyweights is what we called ourselves. Okay. We got on the grind doing music, and uh, yeah, that was the, that was my main focus in college. Like I did my work, and then I would go straight straight back to my dorm. <laughs> like me and another friend of mine named Joel Cross. Like he he's a he a damn good musician, man. Oh, like, he could play anything by ear. Dang. So. He helped me be creative too, whether he knew it or not. Like I learned a lot of music through mm -hmm. him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And now he on tour or he's with NDRE. Dang. You know, yeah, he he doing his thing. Wow. But learning being around people like that and like a bunch of creatives that helped me go back home mm -hmm. and be like, Man, I can do this rap I can do this rap stuff, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Easily, you know what I'm saying? Right. I was like, ain't nobody really doing it like that in Garland, but a few people. I was like, but you know, I know I can carve my own way, you know what I'm saying, my own pathway. Right. And that's what I end up doing. And, you know, and that's what me and Mick end up doing. We end up making our own way. We sounded unique. Right. And we looked unique because of the, you know, the, we, was, we was fly. <laughs> you know? So after, after college, you really, really started focusing on fly mm -hmm. season and putting more effort into that. And then you started going out yeah. doing shows with fly season? or Yeah. Uh, so around that, I graduated in 08. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know what I want. I knew what I wanted. I wanted. I had a marketing and advertising degree. Oh, okay. So I was trying to get a job, and I was working a job at the uh, at Maggiano's at the time. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. held on to that because they were showing, you know, they were showing love, and I didn't want to leave that easy money that I was making there. So I'm oh. doing that and rapping at the same time, and I was ascending. Uh, at one point, I ended up going being alone. You know, doing a, you know, I went on the solo tip on that end. Uh, I started doing that. And my name was growing and more and more and more. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, it was Stone of G-Squad at the time. Right. But I started to get more opportunities to uh, perform at bigger venues, you know, opening up for, uh, you know, like I said, the likes of Devin the Dude. Devin and, the Dude, yeah. Uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony and Three Juicy J. Oh, man. Ty Dolla Sign. Like, the shows kept getting bigger and bigger. So right. I feel like if I was going to be on that stage, I got to stand out. Right. The music. You know, that's one thing. You got to stand out. You got to have something, you know, right. so that make people want to believe in your music anymore. Right. So it, when Flossie, when I was wore that shirt, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's when it started. That's when that's when fly season started. And then the year after that, that's when I started taking it serious. Mm -hmm. Like right. 2015 came, I you know, I really started. I was like, you know, it's a lot of people hit me up about these shirts right. and this merch. It, you know, this was born from music. So... I was like, it was going hand in hand. So I was like, some more music I do, yep. the more I'm gonna sell this, and gotcha. the more I sell yeah. this, people gonna tie it to the music. <laughs> yeah. So I was, and that's what happened, you know. And uh, now I, I barely do music anymore because this one took over. Like, it didn't trump, oh, really? It didn't trump my music career. Dang. You know what I'm saying? Which wasn't a bad thing. Right, right, <laughs> at right, the time, right. but this thing, like, this is what I do full time now. This is full time fly season gear by Stone. Yep. This is all. This is all wow. I do now. Like. I had to take that leap of faith. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How hard was that? Shit. How hard was that? Was it? Oh uh, man, uh, you know, I had, I was it came in a crossroads crossroads where I didn't know what was gonna go on at work. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I can't really get a marketing position like I want to. I feel stuck at work. I'm in a position I don't wanna be in. Right. And I had planned on making the exit like this year. You know man. what I'm saying? <laughs> like this was the year and I the first you know, when you say Happy New Year's, I was New Year's Eve, I was at the house, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> solo with a bottle of champagne, yeah. thinking, of, but reflecting, I'm always game planning, so I'm at the right. house reflecting, and it was raining anyway, it been COVID, we that's can't true. do nothing. Yeah, that's true. So I kicked it at the house, but that next day, you know, I, I got on my knees, I prayed for real, and I literally spoke some things into existence, that's and good. one of them, one of them was this, I, the first one was, I want to make eighty thousand, at least eighty thousand a year, right. doing something. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I got you. I was like, Good whether enough. it's whether it's a new job and fly season together, mm -hmm. or just fly season. And at the time, you know, when I said that I didn't know. I was like, man, 
I think I think it's possible, but you know, I'm a little if you know, I didn't want to hop in that water all the way. Right. You know, gotcha. I was gonna give myself time and try to be prepared for it. Mm-hmm. And I told myself, all right, in September, around that time, I think I'll be ready. But Man. you know, God work in different ways, you know what I'm saying? Sure. I, uh like a week after that or a week or two after that, you know, we had me and my job had we had to have that talk and you know, it was no more, no more working. So God answered that right then and there. Dang. I was like, I ain't got eighty thousand dollars right now. <laughs> but you know, I got. It's, I'm, it's I'm, coming. I'm a, it's yeah, coming. It's, I'm still doing good though, right? Because I'm worried. That was like almost a month and a half ago. Yeah. And I'm still surviving. You know, That's this good. is all I've been doing. Right, right. Well, I hope. So, I hope that, that you, you know. There's a lot of people that is uh, uh, afraid to step out, man. That mm-hmm. have creative minds. They're thinkers. They're goers. But they haven't just taking the chance to just step out and say, this is what I'm going to do. Like you said, you pray to mm-hmm. God about it. And look what's going to happen, man. You got gear, you got stuff that's, and you maintain it through all this pandemic. That's the hard part. You know, and that's be- going to be an inspiration for other people to hear you know, about the, this. The best, the best part of it all is I'm happy. Yeah, that's good. Like, that's good. You know, a lot of people around me, they all tell me my aura is different. Like, I just feel relieved. Right. Like, my mom told me, she told me that probably like a week after, uh, you know, leaving the corporate world right. and doing this, she was like, she told me how proud of, how proud of me she was because, right. you know, she could see the difference in me and uh, she's like, it's you was so you was so miserable at that time. <laughs> I was like, I was. I was like, it's them a change. Same, it's yeah, a but change. the same forty hours a week. Yeah. I was like, you know what? I believe in myself. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I'm saying forty, 40 hours 40 a week. Years. I'm gonna put it into this. Right. And this is what I do for life. You know Man. what I'm saying? This is this is a it's a lifestyle for me wearing it and trying to be fly. Right. But, you know, trying to now put it on other people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying and that's just here in Dallas, or really, I'll take the best, not just here in Dallas. Right. You know, I'm trying to do this everywhere. I didn't. Well, why? Yeah. Yeah, you know, like I got people in Denver, you know what I'm saying? Uh, wearing it. LA, New York. Uh, I had an order in Germany one time. <laughs> Damn. I think, I think that was to the strength of Devin the Dude. Oh, okay. Devin okay. the Dude wearing it real tough. Yes, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. That was tight. Mm-hmm. I like that. Like I mean, Devin like this now, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, okay. Okay. Like, who would have thought me opening up that time and me playing the Dude album in high school that, you know, I'd be, I could hit him up and be like, hey, I got something for you, and I just pull up on him in Houston or he, right, he right. out here to show, you know, so I could just hit him. Yeah, that's good, man. But, that's good. That's good. So, so, what is it like in the future? What do you? How far you? I know everybody said you know people say, well, why do you ask that question? How far you want to take it? Everybody knows how far, but yeah. you know what? What's the plan? Realistically, after, after you know stepped out on faith, now you putting in the hours, you putting in all the hours on this. Now, what's the next step you want to get to as of right now? Uh, as of right now, I'm trying to uh, really. I'm just trying to brand it more. Okay. Like, I need I need a presence outside of the, like, I need more of a presence outside of Dallas. Right. You know, and really, like Garland being my hometown, mm-hmm. that's the easy part because that's where everybody know me at, and it's you know I'm I'm accessible there. You right. know what I'm saying? Gotcha. People. Gotcha. Like, I can. Luckily, I know a lot of people on all sides of Garland. Like, I can see people, and they they gonna ask about it. And if I don't have it on hand, I can make it for them right then and there. So, having that home that hometown support. That's really huge for me, and I let you know I love that. Right. Yeah. Because yeah, that's sir. as you see, like I've been trying to put on for Garland oh, like, most definitely. all my life. You yes, know? sir. Trying to make it a cool. That's why I made this uh, this hoodie, or the shirt, t sweater. I can mm-hmm. make it however, but I made that to make make Garland cool in some kind of way. You know, right. so, oh, I hate the the perception we have sometimes. You know. That we yeah. Can, I understand. That's a whole nother subject. But, <laughs> I but, know what you mean. Well, I wanted you know for the brand. I want to be you know I want to. I want to brand it outside of Garland, outside of Dallas. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, uh, by the end of the year, I can have a, I would say regional, mm-hmm. like, re, like you know, let's start with the South. If I can get other Southern states involved in this, I'll be very happy with that. Because, I mean, if I get the South, a lot of people when it comes to the South, like if I go to Atlanta mm-hmm. and make something happen out there, like say if I get this on Gucci, man. Like, it's, right. Not only am I going to be regional, that's going that's, that's to yeah, go everywhere. That's like, true. That's so true. I, you know, I, and I want to be able to take baby steps like that okay. so the brand could continue to grow. Uh, I don't ever want to go Hollywood on nobody. Like, that's not in my 
that's not my pedigree at all. Right, anyway. I understand. You know, so I'm a real humble person, right. cool, chill person. So that's how I want the brand to be looked at too. Okay, okay. Like so, some that you want to wear for real and feel good about it. So have you reached out to any any celebrities, rappers, singers, dancers, R and B artists? Yeah, uh, I, I want to say like if I see them. I know that as far as hitting them up on Instagram or anything, right. I don't think that's going to work. Right. You know, because they, they get a lot of people. They get all that stuff every day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You could hit up some girls now and try to get... I I have hit some girls of, like, trying to get more girls in, in there to maybe promote it, but they don't even see a message because they that, you know, <laughs> they're that popping. <laughs> right. So I, don't, I never really go that route. I'm more of an in-person, you know, interactor. You know what I'm saying? So right. if I... Like, everybody, like, with Devin the Dude... He saw it, you know, I just happened to, I was just talking to him as a fan, you know, mm -hmm. and was in the green room with him, and he, you know what I'm saying, I told him, that, you know, oh, yeah, this is me, you know what I'm saying, and then he was like, oh, yeah, you got, you know, asked me about it, and, you know, organic stuff, you know yeah. what I'm saying, so that's how I try to move with it as far as getting any celebrities in it, but right. I have got a, you know, I got Devin the Dude in it, Lil Flip, right. you know, shout out to uh, Chris Go, yeah. just say no to Sco. What's up, Sco, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> like, he, that's my... Those who don't know, that's my first cousin, right. and you know, it's like my big brother. So he he signed with a little flip, right? Or, you know, he's he's a Clover G. So that was a that was an easy oop right there. You know, so I'm <laughs> yeah. already I, I get, you could say I'm a Clover G as well, but I don't ever you know I, I'm not in it like Sco is. Right, I'm an right. affiliate, right? You know right, what I'm right. saying? You just I'm in it though. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying like Flip, but you know that's family. Right. So Flip, where um, recently during the pandemic, mm. this is a cool story. So. Uh, I've been bumping Larry June lately, right? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Larry June, he's in the underground rap kind of, but he he a big star. You know really? what I'm saying? With it. You know, you won't hear him on the radio, but you I guarantee you listen to people you watch people's stories on Instagram mm -hmm. or yeah. uh Facebook and all that, you're gonna hear his songs playing different ones. He's got a certain vibe. I li I listened to him during during the quarantine and got drawn to his music more and more. We got kind of a similar style, similar outlook, and he do fly stuff too. Right. So I had, uh, I saw that during the pandemic, you know, <laughs> during the pandemic, he had a show out here in Dallas. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, we couldn't wait to get outside. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, you know what, if I'm gonna go here, I kind of treated it like I was opening up or something. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make a, uh, he had a CD out called, he had just dropped a CD called Orange Season. Okay. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna make a shirt. I'm just gonna try it, you know, I'm gonna see what happens. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I know how to work my jelly sometimes. I was like, if I can get backstage, if I get next to him, I'm gonna get him this shirt. Right. So I made a lot, you know, I studied him. I was like, okay, he from the Bay. They like wearing long sleeve, you know, long sleeve tees or hoodies and stuff. So right, right. I made a, uh, I was like, I thought of Tropicana orange juice. I was like, all right, I'm gonna make a white uh, long sleeve tee with the orange flat season letters and a green outline. And I'm a, he, his thing is uh, the orange emoji. Uh, oranges and doing healthy stuff. So I right. put an orange on there too to make it orange season. Mm -hmm. We go to the show. I'm with my uh, my homegirl, my sister Jill. We pre-gaming and stuff in the parking lot and we talking about it like, hey, you know what? I was like, I'm a, I told her that. I was like, you know, I'm going to find a way, man. I'm going to make a way to, I'm going to get him this shirt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I knew what size he was. So I was like, he had 2X. Yeah. I heard it in one of his songs. I was like, right, I mean, I got to get it to him. So I brought that with me. We walk in, we walk into the show and this at a uh, Southside Ballroom, so mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know if you went I've last been, time you've been yeah. there. I've been there. It's a fence right there, you know. So I know where backstage is too. So I'm I'm looking at it and I'm like, I see the we walking out, I see the van pull up, and I was like, it was you know I was like I see an entourage hopping. I was like, I think that might be him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, let's see. And then Jill was like, hey, no, that is him. And she had already met him before. Right. The last time he came, she walked up to him. Uh, doing his uh, ad libs in the little Bay Area dance, and yeah. she's talking about, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> he turned around and she, uh, you know, he he seen her doing it. He started dancing and bopping with her like, oh, hey. really? So we right here, like, like me and you talking. Uh -huh. It's a fence. Uh, uh, he a pretty tall dude too. I'm six two, mm -hmm. so he got to be like six three, six four. So we talking to each other through the, you know, through the fence, mm -hmm. and uh, he, you know, he saw what I had on, and I was like, oh yeah, man, this uh, this that orange season right here, you know, this is my clothing line, fly season, and then he liked it, and I, I had I already had the shirt. I was like, I got the shirt right here for you. I had a t you wear a two X, right? He was like, yeah. He was like, man, say, I need that. That's hard right there. He was like, put that put that in my bag on the truck right now. You know what I'm saying? What? And I was like, so I gave it to him just like that. 
Honestly, I think if we wasn't, if we was on the other side of the fence, fence yeah. we probably would have been. <laughs> probably most definitely. I had already paid for the ticket, but I was like, we backstage, we kicking it. Dang. We probably could have did it like that, but just by him getting the shirt and him saying that he that he rocked with it. Oh man, and he put in his, he made sure he put it in his bag. I got somebody, one of his partner's number, you know. So they was like, yeah, you know, what I'm saying, if you got anything else, you know, what I'm saying. Just let us know, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna, Dang. So should, well, we that's a connection. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I still got that number now. You know, I'm waiting on the right moves and stuff. Oh, yeah, like you got to. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's got, organic stuff like that. Oh, though. yeah, most definitely. So yeah. I, don't never have, I don't ever try to force nothing. That. Oh, that's good, man. That's good. Like, that's like, good. Like, if it don't happen organically, I'm not in the kissing ass and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, like, that's a hard... I hate, I hate meeting people. <laughs> I hate meeting people one time and then, say, like a few months later, they, you know, we didn't have a good conversation. I'm gonna remember your name. If you ask me again, like who am I? Like I don't like reintroducing myself twice. Right, right, to anybody, right, right, with right. girls, any of that. I'm like, right. Yeah. <laughs> What's the worst? Uh, I know there's probably several stories you probably could tell because that 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 was a good story. <laughs> Has yeah. it ever been a time that you tried to do something that just didn't the person didn't uh, accept it? You don't have to say the person's name, but you not know. well. It was not not like the person didn't accept it, but. I can tell, I don't know if they're gonna wear it, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. You know, they, they'll look at it, but okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, but I could tell by their demeanor, they was like tired, and but, uh, yeah, but you know, that's what's up, bro. And then, uh, you know, the way they handle it, they probably get that all the time. Oh, like, yeah, for sure. I was like, I don't know if he gonna post it or anything like right, that. Right, yeah. At least yeah. he got it, you know, he might wear it, he might not. You know? <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, I she might you. wear it. I get a lot of, I don't, I don't really have any bad bad stories like that. Right, right. I that's didn't good. mess up some merch before, though. That's good. You know, man. at a show. All right, that's all right. That, hey, you know I didn't have somebody spill a whole drink <laughs> on one of my shirts. Like, like <laughs> No, that's cold. That's you know cold. What I'm saying? He, went, he paid for it, but I was like, dang. Like, Come on, man. <laughs> now, do most of your clothing, do most of your clothes, are there for, they're for men and women? Is yeah. Correct, right? Yeah, so I try to get everything, make everything unisex. Oh, okay. So, okay. Like the hoodies, you know, this a this one right here is just a cotton hoodie, but that's a hoodie. It's a unisex hoodie. T-shirts the same way. Okay. There's some stuff I got exclusively for women, like the okay. leggings. I had a I call it a bando fit. Right. So it's like a polyester spandex cotton blend. Okay. So and it's uh you know girls like to wear their stuff tight. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> so them fat asses. <laughs> and I put the plane on the back of it too. Oh. I like no. that. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it, you know. They, uh, I make certain, you know, I try, that's what I'm working on now. Okay. I'm trying to make more stuff for the women. Like, I rolled out a, uh, I tried to make an oversized, well, I did make an oversized t-shirt dress, okay. but I never really put it out because the sizing didn't come back. You know, it's a lot of pros and cons with this, too. Like, I oh, spent, yeah, for sure. spent the money, you know what I'm saying, to get it made, and then when I got it back, I was like... I was like, man, this ain't really what I, <laughs> what I envisioned. I, know I was what like, you man, mean. I was like, the girls want to wear oversized, and this is a little too slim, right? You know, too tight right here, too big right here. I was like, nah, oh, man, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> I was like, this look like this might fit a middle school girl. Oh, you know okay. But the way I flipped it, I just gave them away to anybody, especially my partners who got daughters and stuff. I oh, was yeah, like, man, good. if she can fit that, that might fit her perfect. I right. gave some to my a bunch of my niece. Oh, okay. She tall, <laughs> so it fit her perfect. Yeah. I was oh, like, that's well. good. That's good. Like, so this certain stuff I'm trying to work on I'm trying to uh, you know I'm trying to pre I'm a perfectionist too right. so like I said a lot of girls who see it they was like nah this is cute but yeah. I was like nah it ain't the way I wanted it right, so right. Like, I'm gonna wait I'm gonna do some more work and I'm gonna roll that out in the summertime or something Okay. but yeah I got I got a lot of you know I got stuff for women mostly for guys though but it's unisex it's a unisex brand but stuff like this okay. this is a plain fit Oh, this is a plain flip? Yeah. This is the blue and, and the white with the black. Yeah, that's, that's just dope. one of the colors, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like that. Um, I like that. You know, same with that, but... And you got the... Most guys wear it, but girls can wear it, too. You oh, know okay. Because it's a oh, jogger and hoodie set. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, that's the red fly season. The red and white. And that's just two colors. It's a, I can go all day with the colors. And you make jackets. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is, this is a... Fact, um, this is a jacket. This yeah. is a uh, fly season jacket. Yeah, that's just a oh, fly season man. varsity coat. Oh, that's okay. a custom one, you know, black and purple. Black and purple. Yeah, I got, yeah, yeah. I got you one though. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me see, let me see, man. Let me see, man. Oh, oh, oh. Check, check <laughs> it out. oh. Look at the detail what? on that, man. <laughs> <laughs> look at that, man. Look that's, a, that's, a, that's a that's a little embroidery right there. Uh, 
Oh, you know, so we, got real, we got real, we got real patches right here too. Oh yeah, that's tight. You know that's tight. Oh, but it's me. Yeah, that's you. Oh, let me see if I can wear yeah. this right now, bro. Let me see if <laughs> I, I think can I got you down, though, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you know, you bought them. You know, same way you know my edge. The way you know how my waves hit. You know how to make it hit. You come down. I know you too. Let me see. Let me see how this gonna look on me. Let me see how this gonna on fly on me, baby. Yeah. This is the fly season gear. This is what I'm talking about right here, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> coming down. Yeah, that's coming down right there, lady, ladies. Y'all better get ready yeah. for me, boy. <laughs> yeah, I need to hey. get the. Oh, I got to get the pants. I got the t shirt. Oh, I got the t shirt. Oh, I'm going to put my t shirt with this. I got you the see, hat. I got the. You see how you doing it? I don't, I don't mind cross branding either. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, I, I support, oh, this is dope. I support man. I like everybody. This. I like this right so you here. Can, you can wear different colors under it. Oh, like most that. definitely, man. Y'all better get y'all fly season gear, man. <laughs> Look at it. I'm, I'm, I'm standing. This, this, this like, Get y'all. Get your fly season gear, baby. Get your fly season gear, man. This is dope, man. I, I love yeah. it. So you have anything? You have any other shirts or yeah, I can, uh, you bags? Know. You have bags or what else? What else do you have, man? Yeah, I got a. Hold on, I got a. So this right here, it's a design I made during quarantine. Oh, okay. you know, it's at a, but I called it Fly at Heart. So this is one oh, of the polos. Okay, I can like make them polo. It's more like a designer polo, and. Uh, Man, that one flaring out a little too much. I like that. I Let's like to get this part. But it's called fly at heart. You know, obviously that's where your heart is. Right, right. And, you know, okay. it's kind of like a wearing your heart on your sleeve type thing. But it's just that's why the plane go over on that. Gotcha, uh, gotcha. On the sleeve, on the sleeve itself. So, but yeah, if you fly at heart, it's just I, I like. I got a lot of play on words. You know, something like that. I said it's a plane fit. Right. When people think plane, they're like plane Jane, but no, like airplane, like plane. Right. Gotcha, <laughs> plane gotcha. fit. Gotcha. Um, well, like, well, what I'm wearing right now is a you know a '90s windbreaker. Oh, it's a windbreaker. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. You know, so this like is that. this is one of the colors. Uh, you got some. You got know. more colors on the windbreaker. Uh huh. Oh man, that's and dope. And I called them. You can hold that. Oh one. yeah, that's dope. That's a so windbreaker. I can, yeah, I call that one the Magic. It's a '96 Bulls. Oh I'm wearing okay. Is a British Knight. Oh, okay, I like that. I, well, let me see. Oh man, yeah. I, you know, that's my favorite. One of my favorite colors. That red. Ooh, that's that shiny red and white and black. Then I got Look some at crazy that, y'all. That's what I'm talking about right there. Get your fly season gear. This is a windbreaker. Yeah, it's a whole okay. windbreaker fit. Oh, windbreaker, man. I don't know if, if I stand up, I might be too tall for and go out the camera frame. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole fit. It's a uh, whole fit. I got another color. Like, it's like purple, teal, okay. pink. And I called it that one Goo Punch. Okay. Like the uh, show my brother and me. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, and then I had another one that was, I called it Stupid Fly Fresh Prints. You know, because back when I was rapping, like, or rapping harder, I say. Oh, okay. <laughs> we had a song called Stupid Fly. That was probably one of our biggest singles. And that was the whole thing, is about be having the loud color. Like, honestly, the, the loud light, colors, like like the blue yeah, and the. It's that same color pink. Way. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's like purple, black, lime green, pink, and white. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like something Will Smith would have wore it on the show. Yeah. So that's why I call it Stupid Fly, Fresh Prince. But yeah, taking it, you know, trying to bring my childhood. Everything I wanted to wear in the 90s that right, I couldn't really right. do, gotcha. I'm trying to bring that all back to now because all that's coming back. And if it wasn't, I was going to try to make it happen anyway. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know? and, and, you, and you have? Yeah, I got beanies. Beanies, coach? That's oh, what, man. I wanted to make hats, uh, you know. Oh, okay, okay. To, like, if you wanted one to match your coat, I can make it black and white. Black and white. Oh, okay, you know cool, what I'm cool. Uh, Dang, I needed this when the, when the storm came, man. Right. You think I ain't having that? <laughs> I, like, man, have, I have need that during the storm. Majority of my closet is fly season. I oh got, a, you know, God. I got my dress shirts over here. Yeah, I got my other polos and stuff, and you know, regular pants. But on this whole side of my closet, I got nothing but fly season. So, Dang. You know, every time, every time I think of something, I make it in right. bulk. I'm gonna make me some. I'm gonna make me like two or three. Yeah, you know, you got, two you or gotta three. wear your own brand, man. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. This this is man, this is this is really this is really dope. This is the fly <laughs> this is fly season gear yeah, at man. its best, man. And it stands for fly the the whole motto behind it is stand for fly people getting money. Fly people getting money. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Y'all better recognize that. And I'm looking at the camera right now. <laughs> fly people getting money. That's what I'm talking yeah. about right there. That's fly season gear. That's how that's how I came up with the logo. Dang. Like when you let me do it like this. So, this is the best way to explain it. Mm-hmm. So, when you think about getting fly, it's like uh, I used to say stuff like jump fly as a plane mm-hmm. or fly as a kite. Right. But, you know, the plane is more recognizable for being fly. So, mm-hmm. I, I had that. I wanted to get a G5 plane with a jet stream. And then gotcha. I was thinking, I was okay, if I got that on the shirt, I can't just, ha- well, I got it. So, that's another shirt. 
but <laughs> that's what that's what's on here that's what when I you like zip that. it up yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, a plane, it's a plane. Yeah. but as far as the logo i was like i gotta put fly season or some kind of way so why not if i'm thinking about it in the air the plane going the jet stream right and it leaves a cloud of usually a cloud of smoke i could make it spell out fly season so that's how I did that. Okay. And then the dollar signs, I just put I just put them dollar signs on there like, man, I was thinking about making it rain for some reason, but you know, something ballerific and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make it rain from the clouds with, uh, <laughs> with the that's dollar nice. signs. That's and nice. Now, that's nice. You know, and that, that's how it all come together. But the whole meaning of it is fly people getting money. Fly people getting money. And you know, what fly person you don't know ain't getting money. That's right. And like, you, and this you might not know be what that is, ladies. So I said this. This might not be for everybody either. I'm right. gonna say that too. Most definitely. You know, I expect. You know, what I'm saying some day, some pushback. I haven't heard it said to me, or it, I, don't, <laughs> I haven't heard anybody post it or anything saying like, uh, like fly season was whack or something. Or right. I don't think it's all that. You know, I don't see it, but ain't no. I'm sure people are saying it, mm -hmm. because, but that helps too. You know what I'm saying? Like gotcha. Kobe, Kobe once said, uh, "Yeah, rest in peace to Kobe, man." Kobe oh, once said, "You know, oh, man. Uh, you know, if people didn't hate him, he wouldn't be who he was either." Like the same amount of love he got, the, all the fans he had, he had that many more haters too, and that made him the mega star that he was. You That's know, true. the legend that he was. That's true. So so true. Like a lot of people. So I'm not expecting everybody to be down with fly season. Right. I don't want everybody to be down with fly season, but. Not everybody can be fly, right? You know, and some people it might not be their cup of tea, but for the ones that are, they recognize it. They're like, yeah. "Nah, that's me. That's my lifestyle. <laughs> like, that's the lifestyle. Like, yeah. It's like you in my mind right now, like, yeah. man. <laughs> like, and this this is geared to the lifestyle of being fly, mm -hmm. and getting money, um, buying things, driving nice cars, being being in the limelight, uh, concert studio. Mm -hmm. This is what this gear is about, and I can see that. That's that's really dope, man. Now, when you walking, when you, when you walking with your coat on, that's how people gonna look at you. They gonna look at you like, man, like they gonna say, "I like that coat," or "I like your style," and then it just ma it matches you too. It matches you, yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I'm tell you right now, I'm coming with the fly. I'm telling you, man, I'm getting, I'm getting. I, I love this, man, and and it's warm. It's very insulated, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. I'm telling you, you, you got you have some really good gear, man, and I like this yeah. jacket, man. And is there any other gear you got? Any anything else? Uh, I know we had some. Um, let me see. Uh, I got some other. Uh, yeah, we gotta show everything, man. I want to show all of it. There goes something I came up with during. Uh, well, actually, I'm gonna pull up. So. I came up with this this year. Now this oh, is oh for for the kids. Well, not just for the kids. I made this for a kid. Okay. But it's called beige. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and I put the definition on there. You know, beige looking like a potential boo thing. Okay. You know? Beige. That's uh, that's something you you made up. Beige is something. I can't word. say I made it up. It was told to me. Oh, it was told to you, and then you just put it on the shirt. <laughs> that's was, what I'm talking it about. It was told to me. Beige. And I, you know, I thought about it. I was like, man. Let that can be something. That, I, was like, I was like, man, I was like, that can be something. And I Dude, just, I didn't know how it was going to look. And I just sat there. Bayish. I sat there a few days after I heard it. And I was like, you know, let me see how I can make this into something. Uh, and I made okay. that whole design. So I got it in black and red. Uh, <laughs> bayish. I got black and red, white, white, red. Okay. Yeah, basically like black garment, white garment. garment. Okay. And them same colors. This one, the same way. Like bayish. white, blue. And black and then black white and blue um oh that's dope i and like then that. i got the pink ones too oh that's nice the black and pink ones those you know a lot of those i made those all gone but this oh, is this is the for, one that girl for ladies yeah or guys so i got a, i got a black and pink one. Oh, you got a black and pink one too yeah, oh yeah, that's you know, dope yeah shout out to cameron man he helped me he yeah, encouraged he me the, to wear yeah, pink yeah 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 I, I wear pink i got yeah. a, i got some i got some yeah, I mean, real real man could pull out pink. Uh, most definitely that's that's dope right there. <laughs> i like that uh yeah but that was that was one Okay. Um, did I already show the backpack? Oh, yeah, you see the backpack. Oh, now, this is the backpack, right? Yeah, so I'm sitting here oh, using this yeah, one. That, yeah, that, yeah that's, that's the money bag that's right the there. That's the money bag right there. This, this, is, this is where you keep all all that money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's just like a big carry-on, too. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I mean, white, oh, red. Man, let me see that. Let me see that. Let me set this down right here. I want to see that. Check this out. I want to check this out. Now, this is the, this is the bag. Yeah, so that's oh, white, man, that's red. I got, got pink. pink. Uh, the other uh, colors yeah. I got is green, like money green, and a royal blue. Oh, for real? Oh, this mm -hmm. is black and white. These are bags, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm yeah. talking about, man. 
This is what uh, this is what you put your all your time into. Invest into yourself, into your goals, into your dreams. That's I, what I'm I went on right a trip too. to Houston and I put three outfits in that. I wear a size 13 shoe. Dang! I had about two pairs of shoes in there, and I had my whole. I had all my fits folded up neatly, but. I was able to fit out my whole life in that bag. God. And it's a That's nice, about. and it's perfect for carry-on. Like, Oh, yeah. I'm a, I, you know, maybe if I could speak this to the existence on your show, but oh, yeah, most definitely. my Go cousin ahead. Dontoya told me one time that I should uh, holler at uh, Southwest Airlines since they out here, they local in Dallas. Mm -hmm. And she's like, you should definitely talk to somebody at Southwest Airlines and try to uh, collab with them on something. She's like, I don't know what it is, but I know that they're a fun, they're a fun company and they'll, take a liking to what you do. I think so. With yeah. the plane and the thing, how you got it set up, mm -hmm. that would be, that's, that's, <laughs> she's giving you some good advice, oh, my yeah. brother. She never, she never she, fell she on did, that. Hey, that's, that's some good <laughs> advice. I'm telling you that right now. That is some good advice. I see, I see you have a baseball ja uh, jersey or something. Yeah, I don't have any, I don't have any more right now. I sold out. Oh, okay. You but, sold out your baseball jersey? Yeah, the baseball jerseys. I'm gonna have to bring them back in when they get when it start getting warm again. Oh, okay. It's okay. gonna get you know Texas is weird. Almost definitely. You never know. What's, yeah, I mean, that like is so it was weird. just in a blizzard last week. Yeah, now nah, it's 80 degrees outside. <laughs> 85. I was like, wow. Oh, that's crazy. I seen some guy wearing some short Daisy Do shorts. Right, dude wearing some Daisy Do shorts yeah. this morning. I said, God dang. I got a uh, yeah. I, I made. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring those back. Okay. Baseball jerseys. Um, what else I have? I had. Uh, I plan on in the summertime. I'm gonna try to. You know, me having a basketball background, I definitely want to. I, I tried to make a basketball jersey two right. years ago, uh -huh. but it didn't. It didn't quite pan out. Like what I got back wasn't what I wanted. You know, okay, because gotcha. I wanted it to be for real. Like, right. I wanted it to be just like uh, a Mitchell and that. You know, like a real NBA jersey. The way it's, uh, it's him, stitched. Yes, yeah, way it's stitched. Yeah. I wanted mm -hmm. it to feel real. Gotcha. So I had to go with a different manufacturer, somebody who can really bring my idea to life. But I'm gonna try to make some baseball jerseys. Uh, I recently, man, I should have. I don't know why I left it at the house. But I got a hockey jersey. Okay. You know, so shout out to my bro Day Day. It's okay. his birthday today too. Man. Okay. Happy birthday to my bro. <laughs> <laughs> he, he gave me that. He gave me some uh, get fly instructions, as he called it. Okay. You know, he, we, that was our thing. We give out get get fly instructions. Okay. But he told me he wanted a hockey jersey. I made it. He told me it was like two months ago, and I just kind of I didn't know how I wanted to do it, but. I made the hockey jersey. I kind of did it in a Dallas Stars colorway, and I re I took that picture during the snow snow. <laughs> really? Was, yeah. Okay. Like, it was the last day before it all started melting. I seen that on Facebook. Was that was on Facebook? Mm -hmm. The green, the green, yeah. the green and white. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it was yeah. dope. That was so dope. I got I got that. Um, this is I man. I got I got a new fly uh, fly season shirt coming. Like the same way I made this. Uh, mm -hmm. I forgot to say that. So this is a hoodie, but this is how it all started, though. Okay. It all started with just the bait. This is the original fly season design. Oh, just, like just, just how it is. Just now. putting it on a shirt, and this right. is what I sell the most because people just want. Some people just want to start out with t-shirts, something simple. This might be too much for some people. Right, got you. <laughs> but got you. I got it. so this is how it started. But I got a, a newer version coming. It's a new logo. Mm -hmm. It's the same. It's same message, but it's still gonna say fly season, but it's some more in depth plane and you know it's it, I mean, when you see it you're gonna like it man it's right. like i had a graphic designer do that one. Oh, okay or my cousin zach he oh, okay. actually did it he reached out to somebody you know you know how that worked man oh Family, yeah people be looking out for me man. i, I can that's never good. you know what i'm saying i i can't do it although it's my brand i can't do it by myself that's true you know a lot of people i was telling the, um and not to just get off subject man i was it's, it's a young lady that's very very talented here in dallas a comedian and I, when I say she's very very talented yeah and she sent me a message today you know you know some people some people get tired and they just kind of get like man I'm tired of this I'm tired of this yeah and she sent me this message today and I told her the same thing you just said I told her that you can't do this by yourself you mm -hmm. have to have people you have to have people that supporting you you have to have people pushing you and you have to have people that does not agree with everything that you say right and that's just how it is and that's how success that's that's what fly season come about when people say nah they don't look dope but you you have to accept the criticism oh, yeah. to make it better so that's good man that's you know good. what i do when i well i will say this it's, it's some sometimes people will be giving me it's a difference between telling me something or like trying to give me some game right or let me let me start again it's a difference between trying to give me game mm -hmm. and 
and telling me what to do. Right. And that's what I don't like. You don't. Right. You ain't gonna tell me what. Like, <laughs> bro, you need to do this. Or you and these. This is coming from people that have no. They don't have any no experience education, or no doing. Experience. I ain't yeah. gonna say education. They just don't have any experience of making clothes or doing any of that. Right. They just going off what they saw on YouTube and uh, such and such. Do it this way. Right. I'm not such and such. I'm stone, <laughs> you know. <laughs> right. Like this is how I want to do. It. Like this is this is my vision, bro. Right. So that's good. I'm doing the. I'm doing the best I can. Like, right. I'm not saying I'm doing the best, but I'm doing the best I can. That's good. Now, when people do give me game, like, the viewers are telling me something now, I ain't gonna, I'm not going to block you out or act Hollywood. I'm going to sit there and listen. Right. That's one of my keys to myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's one of the best things I do. It works in relationships, too. The guys need to... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got you. Like, like I got listen. You. I just listen. I listen and observe, and I'd be like... You know, I take in mm -hmm. any feed. I take in all feedback. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's good. I be listening, and I I learn something. You know, yeah. I learn something every day. Like every day you can. Every day I speak about that all the time. The mm -hmm. barbershop, shop you can. Uh, I was gonna ask you, um, like, you know, where can they reach you for for one? Where can they reach you? How can they get in touch yeah. with you? So. Uh, it's, it's basically I would love for everybody just to go to the website. Right. But. Again, you know, being here in Garland, I'm accessible, so a lot of people don't do that. A lot okay. of people who got my number, they'll just hit me, they'll right. just text me. <laughs> they'll message me on Facebook, message me on Instagram, okay. Snapchat. Uh, so whatever. your Instagram is Fly Season, or yeah. So the the web the Instagram for Fly Season is at Fly Season Apparel, and that's where you know I got two Instagrams. I got one for Fly Season, and then one that I had when I you know that I started with. Okay. And that's at Stony C underscore G squad okay so I get a lot of traction on Instagram uh, and Facebook mainly okay um, anybody on Facebook live obviously you know they oh already, yeah they, they watch it they can now. just click <laughs> so they, can just, they can just click and Most I, definitely. I didn't see my phone light up quite a few times That's so good. people That's good. Add, you know it could be some business it could be yeah, yeah. people asking for a favor or something but right right uh, yeah I can be reached on there but I prefer everybody go to the website Mm -hmm. So the website is www.flyseasonapparel.com. Okay, tell them one more and time so yeah, they can get I'm that. I would say it because a lot, of, for some reason, yeah, people don't know how to spell apparel. <laughs> <laughs> Please educate them on this <laughs> right Yeah, Fly Season Apparel, and that's A-P-P-A-R-E-L. Okay. Dot com. Gotcha. And I got everything on, you know, everything's ready to go on the website. Like, when you place an order... I get the. Oh, I'm sorry, I hit the mic. I, <laughs> I so I get the notification right then and there, yeah. and I get to work on it. Okay. And especially now I do this full time. Like, mm -hmm. as soon as the order come in, I'm trying to fulfill that right okay. away. Do you take special? Do you do special orders? Like, uh, do you yeah, do special do, orders or? I do. Like, you know, it costs a little bit more. Right. But gotcha. I'm try. Uh, I try to steer away from it, but you know, it might. It's something I have to embrace. You know, because a right. lot of people. They just want their own thing. I got you. you. Know, like they want it. They gonna represent. You know, and people. Right. It's still, I'm gonna still make it look fly. But I was like, man, I wish you would still just go with the color. <laughs> I made six different colorways. You know, on purpose. But right. if you just really want me to make you one, I'll do it. Right. But look, I'll show you. Uh, man, <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway because by the time this drop, he'll already have it. Yeah. But I'm gonna take this one out. Oh. So uh, my partner, Word Life. You know what I'm saying. Uh, oh, 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 he's a part of the high rollers, you know, so him and my partner accomplice. Right. We met doing music, right? Okay. So he got his own brand called King of All Fresh, right? Okay. But we cross brand, you know, I wear his stuff, he wear mine. Oh, he okay. had some uh, Jordan ones, uh -huh. the Balvins. Ooh. And he was like, man, I need you to make me something for that. So Ooh. I made this for him. Ooh. <laughs> that is. Hey, <laughs> y'all better get y'all fly season gear, man. Yeah, now, man hey, bro. I did this for Worry Life. and you that, know. This is for him? <laughs> yeah, this is just for him. Nah, man, I want this. <laughs> well, you ain't get, you got to have the shoes to go oh, with it. Oh, my you goodness. Know what I'm and, the, and the pants go with it? Yeah, you get the whole oh, thing. Oh, man, hold on, man. We got to get up with you know, this. It, it, this is the... This is the yeah. Oh man, my brother! Now y'all can uh, Google them shoes, and then you can uh, oh, put my that together. Oh goodness, that right there, bro! Word life, man. If you, oh, if you watch that's it, bro. what I'm talking about right I had there, to, baby. I had to debut you, man. <laughs> now this is some fly gear. You got the pants, mm -hmm. man. I love those colors, man. That is, that is blazing. Now that's different. We talking yeah. about something that is totally different. Well, man, you it, did this. Well, I give it to him. Oh, I know he, he gonna man. trip out, boy. He, he gonna, gonna trip out on that, my brother. Oh, that's, that's dope. And that's the feeling I love, man. I love everybody. Oh, when that, my goodness. When people make, like, the same way Jay-Z, 
you, uh, made that face on uh, when he first was in the when he's in the studio for real making uh, uh, the Black album. Oh yeah, and they yeah. played Allure. Oh and man, Jay Z just kind of. Oh man, bro, that's when people do that. For my that's for it. my clothes, it made me feel great. Yeah, I, feel that's like, good. I feel like for real, like yeah, I did it. I was like, <laughs> I was like that's all. That's all. I oh to my! Do. And then you only have this. Just that's just special order for him. Yep. Yeah, oh man, yeah, man, I, I mean, you gotta give you gotta give me that right there. Hey, I need that right there, Doc. I got some man. I got some shoes and a hat to go with that. Ooh. Hey man, I might can make you something. Hey man, you know, say I'm gonna. You know, a lot of yeah, I can't get the same you, thing. You know how you know but how I want Dapper, something that, something like that, similar like that. You know how Dapper Dan, uh, when Dapper Dan was making stuff exclusively for yeah, people, Mozilla, that's yeah. how I looked at it. I was like, you know what, I ain't gonna steer away from that. I was like, I got a, I got an eye for fashion. I got right. an eye for being fly. So if he, I didn't try to make that rhyme either. I, was like, I, got, <laughs> I got an eye for being fly. Yeah. Like, that, so that could be something. <laughs> but. You know, that's how I look at it. I was like, well, Dapper Dan made a lot of custom stuff for Mike Tyson and anybody that mm -hmm. came through. Uh, yeah, sure. I was like, I can do the same thing for for all my partners, you know, so really, right. I made uh, that same code. I made one for Devin the Dude, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. it was black, olive green on the sleeves, and then I, on the right arm, I put a patch for him. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Yeah, it was a patch of him saying, "Oh yeah." <laughs> yeah that's the saying, but I got yeah. it right there doing that and I you know I went uh, the first of the year I went down to Houston and drove dropped it out to him. Oh, okay. And he put it on immediately. He's you know, I'm sure he was wearing it last week. Oh <laughs> yeah, for sure. You already uh, know. But you know, I made I made his I made a shirt with Devin the dude. Oh, okay. And we collabed. We collabed on a that was our first time collabing on something and making a shirt together. Well, I designed it and I showed it to him. He approved it, and then I got to sell it at his show. Oh, dang! When he tight. came out here to Dallas, like we made a like a limited run. Mm -hmm. Oh man, we sold a bunch of shirts. <laughs> <But, laughs> That's good, man. I That's was so good. tired that night. That's good. I was. By the time we got on stage and he was jamming uh, anything, you know, <laughs> jamming on the songs, I was like, man, I'm tired. <laughs> I was like, we, I was. I said, I don't see. I see how you put in all that work like that. Oh yeah, man. It's like, it's, but it's a blessing though, man. That's, that's where, good. That's you good. know what I'm saying? I, I can't complain about nothing. That's good, man. But hey, man, before we go, man, I always have to, I, I've got to do this. This is something I always like doing. And I got to, you got to give me, you got to give me your favorite comedian. Oh, man. You got to give me your favorite <laughs> artist, hip hop artist. Okay. And you got to give me your famous, favorite actor and your favorite, your mom's favorite old school jam. Oh, man. Okay. Um. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so favorite comedian. That's tough, dog. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Cause I'm, uh, oh, you man. out of the new era. We understand. We yeah, but I got it. an old soul. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want to say, like, I want to say, I was gonna say Eddie Murphy. Okay. But then I like, I like Bernie Mac. The okay. way he, you know, what I'm saying the, the way, way he, he uh, yeah, the way, yeah, the way he did. But I like Martin Lawrence too. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Okay. Tough. Okay. That one's tough, man. I can't, uh, you know, and I even get to like Dave Chappelle and oh, yeah. Kevin That's Hart. Now, you know, I love, I like, I love comedy too. Right. And I was like, man, so I, I like all them. But if I had to choose. I'd probably go with, uh, man, I like Richard Pryor and all them too. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a hard choice. You man. just won. You know what? I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with Richard Pryor. Okay. I'm gonna go with Richard Pryor. And okay. The hip hop artist. Hip hop artist. Favorite hip hop artist. Oh, yeah, that's easy. Nas. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know Nas, my favorite, right? Uh, <laughs> all okay. time great. I'm looking around all these records. You got, you know, I know a lot of these songs. I know oh, yeah. a lot of these What's records up? too. What's up? But yeah, Nas, and then what was the next? R and B. Favorite R and B. Favorite R and B. Uh, I say. Now, this is probably just because of the, how I grew up. And okay. All the, uh, you know, and I grew up in the 90s. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't care how, what anybody say. I know what R. Kelly did. <laughs> <laughs> man, man, R. Kelly goes so hard. hard it's hard to be killed, man. man. R. Kelly goes so hard. <laughs> like, all the stuff he did, like, come on, man. It's hard I, to be killed, say, man. You know what I'm gonna say? But I don't agree with what he did right, outside of music. Outside man. of music, yeah. Them but songs, yeah. 
I'm going to say yeah, R&B, I think R. Kelly first. Okay, okay. And then uh, you said my mom's favorite. Yeah, well, favorite actor, then we can do your last. Your uh, my favorite, favorite actor? actor? Yeah. Uh, Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. And specifically, I love I love the way he played Frank Lucas. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was dope. <laughs> An American yeah. Gangster. Like that, that was dope. Like, that, that made me, uh, like, that's one of my favorite movies. Oh, okay. American Gangster. American Gangster. And, uh, your mom's favorite song. Your mom's something that you know when your mom when your mom hear this, or your Amy, or your 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 grandma when they you hear know, this one song, what is that song gonna be? I'm gonna say because uh, she got a lot of favorite. But her favorite artist is Marvin Gaye. Oh, okay. And her favorite album is the "I Want You" album. Okay. So I want to say that she loved that whole album, but I want to say "I Want You" <laughs> by Marvin Gaye. By Marvin Gaye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And that, because that's her favorite song, that's one of my favorite. Oh, okay. That's one of my favorite uh, R&B songs. I mean, uh, old school songs. Oh, okay. That, you know, so I know a lot of old school songs. Oh, yeah, too. man. You know, you know. I know I told like, you before. Oh, man, yeah. But, What's uh, that? <laughs> I just, you know, in my music, it was a lot of sampling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a, lot of, you know, a lot of sampling. And I, I got you, bro. Music. I so, got yeah. you. I'll say I, uh, that's hers, though. I want you. Oh, okay. Got you. Well, man, before we go, man, uh, man, is any last words? Whatever we want to tell the people, man, whatever you want to tell the people, let them know because we got to put this out there, man. Because, like I say, this platform is for people that are locally um in Dallas, Texas, Garland, Mesquite, it doesn't matter where you're from. This, mm-hmm. this, this platform, I made this platform specifically for people that have something going on. They want to put their stuff out there, and I just want to inspire people to do better because I want to do better. I want to yeah. expose people so, therefore, people can really listen and understand what people are doing right here in Dallas. There's so much talent here that I yeah, just yeah. want to have a platform for people to put their stuff out. So whatever you want to tell the people... It, Oh, tell man. them, man. What's, what do well, you want to tell them? I'll look, I'm looking at this camera. Yeah, left camera right there. Yeah. That's where we're going. Well, <laughs> you know, if y'all ain't just pay attention, I'm Stony C from Garland, Texas. First and foremost, I just want y'all to put, I want everybody to be able to respect Garland, Texas. When you see Garland, Texas, one of the things I want you to think about is fly season. Think about Stony C. Think about all the fly, you know, so I want you to think fly and great things about my city. You know what I'm saying? Right, <laughs> of course. Like, I about wear my city on my back like Atlas. Right. You know what I'm saying? If people don't know who Atlas is, you go Google him and you'll see that he has the world on his shoulders. You know what I'm saying? That's true. That's but, so true. You know, uh, you know, shout out to uh, everybody that has supported, you know, supported me to this day, supported me doing music. Whenever it wasn't cool, you know what I'm saying? People was I always believed in my vision. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Crisco. Oh, you most know what definitely. Saying? Uh, just say no to Sco, you know what I'm saying? Yes, we, sir. A lot of stuff, a lot of this type of stuff we talked about growing up, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, right. From playing, you know, we thought we was going to be in the NBA, you know what I'm saying? Right. Playing, uh, playing basketball all the time. And now I look up, you know, we made a way in music, you know what I'm saying? When right. people didn't think it was possible, we made a way doing that. He made his own way, you know what I'm saying? Right. Using his own personality, being himself, to have his own platform now. Right. I mean, he'd been in, he'd been in the podcast game for yeah. It going on eight weeks now. He got eight thousand subscribers. Wow! Because he's Crisco. That's good. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> so good. That's the inspiration. He's always been an inspiration of mine. So shout out to Sco. Yeah. Shout out to I can't. I ain't gonna name everybody in my family. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But shout out to everybody in my family that supported, especially my mom, my sisters, my yeah. brothers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all my homeboys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all my homeboys here locally in Garland. My partner's in Houston. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody I hooped with it South, South Girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to Tyrese Maxey, too. Oh, uh, yeah. It, for making it to the league. That's you know my, what I'm saying? Straight from the player. G. Yeah, um, sir. You know, shout out to my partner, DK. You know okay. what I'm saying? Uh, I already shouted out Mick. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And the MVP boys. You know what I'm saying? We was all on our fly stuff. But right. shout out to DK. You know what I'm saying? He's doing this thing right, right. now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go download that Faith Without Works album. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I made an album for him called Throw Life Dreaming. Okay. And uh, right, say, and actually on Sunday, February 28th, okay. is the third anniversary of Stone Age. Oh, you know, damn. So that's, that's, the last pro- that's the last project I put out. Okay. So uh, if y'all want to run my numbers up, you know what I'm saying? Stream. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stream that right now, Type baby. Type in uh, Stony C, Stone Age. And, you know, all my projects is on there. So y'all do that for me. But... Really, man, shout out to everybody who didn't show love. Uh, definitely can't leave the platform without saying rest in peace to my bro, Dre. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, he, sure. 
he helped me like especially this design right here he right. helped out he helped me bring that to life you know what i'm saying and right. he passed away uh back in august you know okay. what i'm saying and i was one of the toughest losses i had right. last year during the pandemic right but you know it's dre way you know right. what i'm saying that's what we do now so r.i.p to dre r.i.p to my partner guap what's up? you know what i'm saying yeah. with uh, tree hugger you know we did a lot of work together. Mm -hmm. He was the reason why, also, that I got to connect mm -hmm. now, you know what I'm saying, to be able to do, make them coats and make right. all these. Like, none of this would be possible without Guap. Uh, RP to my bro Puda Man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? RP to my bro Dereer, aka D Real. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, gotcha. Uh, I probably done rambled along enough. Man, but, <laughs> but, you know, I just, I just want y'all to support me, man. That's like, good. If you That's want good. to get fly, hit me up. You know yeah, what I'm hey. saying? Uh, I, this is this is all I do. This is my life. You know what I'm saying? It's a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? I don't just try being fly as a lifestyle. That's right. That, that's what I'm talking about. With, I'm hey, stuck man. in the fly track. Hey, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for coming <laughs> yeah. through, man. I appreciate, I appreciate you, man, you with all that. the stuff that's going on, man. You have a great success to you, my brother. I am so happy to have a platform for you to come, man, so therefore people can know and see what we got going on here, man. This is a great thing, man. Go get fly season, ladies and gentlemen. Go get fly season. Yeah. Very important that you get this gear. As you can see, I'm right now. I'm so fly right now. I, I got to go to the Mardi Gras right now, man. <laughs> so, hey, man, we're going to get out of out of here, man. Thank you so much, Stoney C, man. I appreciate you so much, man. Let's yes, give you a round of applause. Stoney C, one more time, baby. Appreciate you, man. All right, man. Much love, much love, much love. Y'all be yeah. keezy. Peace.